We, can, we don't know exactly where it runs, so we have to accept Enbridge's uh, disclosure of who has, that all of the owners of land have been notified. But we can't verify that because we don't know which landowners were left out and they, we are not afforded with a map to you see where that's at. We are not given the information as to where the pipeline actually runs and we I, I've uh, got we a, I've got a very simple question. How many barrels of oil has Enbridge spilled in the last 10 years, including Kalamazoo, including all the Asian spills? How many barrels? Do you know? That I don't know. It's a lot, isn't it? It's, 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 it would take a while to What's count. That? That many barrels of oil? How many? At least. You should know that. Yeah. Uh, when you, you have such a long, rich history of spilling oil out of your pipelines, you should know how many. How many, how many barrels of oil? How many barrels of oil have you spilled? You're, you're in charge of safety, right? How many barrels of oil? That's the secret binder. It contains chemical information. We don't have access to it. You get what I mean, though. If this is supposed to be a public proceeding, and they're making, like, secret binders with secret chemical information, like, what's so commercially valuable about that? Like, our valves are designed this way. Like, what's the big trade secret? You know, what's so economical about it? You should have to make a list. For example, they, they speak to... Uh, their subscribers. Enbridge is a common carrier, an interstate common carrier, subject to federal regulation, preempted by state mm -hmm. regulations. When they demonstrate their need as part of this proceeding, and that's what we're evaluating here, today, mm -hmm. they submit to the commission information that says our subscribers, the people that, that own this material mm -hmm. through our pipeline, are requesting additional capacity, and we believe that on that information that they will see mm. something around the 2014-2015 time frame where they will not be able to utilize the pipe in okay. its full capacity, that those will be fully subscribed and they need additional capacity or else that material doesn't get moved to market. So it's and like customer demand data? Yes, well, it's their sh they, they, okay. they just move the materials kind of like eBay clears materials on, on the internet. And uh, their customers are saying they need additional capacity to move these materials. That's the basis. Of that. So does anything the is type of economic okay. information that's in here is related to okay. things. They may lose a competitive advantage, for example, if they disclose the exact time that that could happen, or it might be a money thing. Uh, um, those are things that are routinely done if you check our other dockets and, and need both in terms of Maryland transmission lines, mm -hmm. power plants, wind farms, and the like. Uh, there's often proprietary information related to the sale of the energy itself. So mm -hmm. uh, those are things that are often vetted and, and considered and evaluated. The Department of Commerce acts as the advocate ombudsman on behalf of Minnesota consumers and ratepayers to evaluate those those figures okay. to make sure that they're realistic. So, but is there chemical engineering data in there as well as like like the con the consumer industry data? I, I, I mean, like the commercial data. You know, it relates mostly to market data. Mostly market data. All right. Okay, I, I have one final question for you. Uh, again, could I get your posi position? What's your, your name is Bush. Um, and um, because they are illegally installed there. They, and, and without the knowledge of the of the of the landowner. So we would like to verify, since we already know that there are two <coughs> tracts of land on this pipeline system within our state and the bordering state, we want to be able to verify Enbridge's information uh, about the landowner notification because they say they have notified all these landowners. But they don't say, oh, by the way, uh, you know, the survey's accidentally off and we're accidentally on this other property. We want to be able to verify 
the survey. We want to know where that pipeline is at because those landowners have a right to know if that pipeline is on their property. And the public has a right to verify the information that has been given to our public utilities commission. Unless you guys are verifying it, you can show us that you have indeed verified every foot, every lineal foot that that has. We want to know that. In fact, the commission did not have legislative authority to work with the domain and an acquisition of those some land and I'm not talking about that. We're talking about knowing where this pipeline runs. I mean, you're approving a project. Okay, you approved this project originally, right? That's for this particular upgrade, but originally, the, you know, originally the project was for this I'm sorry, I really can't speak to a previous one, and I can't really recall the dockets from 2008. I don't know. Okay. Sure. 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 Sure.